Hello students, welcome to the last video of atomic structure. Here we discuss excitation energy, ionization energy, excitation potential and ionization potential. Let's go to start excitation energy. It is the amount of energy required by an electron to jump from the ground state to any one of the excited state. That means if we consider here an electron is revolving around the innermost orbit or the number of orbit take us one innermost orbit or the ground state. Okay, innermost orbit or ground state. Then what is the amount of energy required by that electron to jump from the innermost orbit to the excited state? Here, take us. This one is the orbit n equals to 1. Here, orbit n equals to 2. This one, orbit n equals to 3. And here, orbit n equals to 4. And that first orbit take as energy E1. And the second orbit energy E2. And third orbit energy E3. And in the fourth orbit energy E4. So, what is the amount of energy required to the electron? To jump from the ground state or innermost orbit, ground state to the first excited state. That means n equals to 2. That orbit n equals to 2. The second orbit is the first excited state. That amount of energy is called as first excitation energy. First excitation energy. Then when electron make transition or jump from the ground state to the second excited state. Ground state to the second excited state. That means n equals to 3. That amount of energy is called as second excitation energy. That amount of energy is called as second excitation energy. So, we know that E1 equals to minus 13.6 electron volt and E2 that is minus 3.4 electron volt. So, when electron make transition from n equals to 1 to n equals to 2. That means, electron jump from ground state to the first excited state. What is the amount of energy? It required that E equals to E2 minus E1. Okay. Put the value U E2 that is minus 3.4 electron volt minus of minus 13.6 electron volt. Then that answer equals to 10.2 electron volt. It is the amount of energy required by the electron to jump from the ground state to the first excited state. Now, if electron make transition from orbit 1 to 3 or ground state to the second excited state, that amount of energy is called as second excitation energy. Here E1 equals to we know that minus 13.6 electron volt and E3 equals to minus 1.51 electron volt. So what is the amount of energy? It required E equals to E3 minus E1. Then E3 put the value E3 that is minus 1.51 electron volt minus of minus 13.6 electron volt. Then solve this. Solve this one. Minus 1.51 electron volt plus 13.6 electron volt. Then this one equals to 12.09 electron volt. That is the amount of energy required by the electron to jump from ground state to the second excited state. Now we go to ionization energy. Okay. It is the amount of energy required by an electron required by an electron so that it completely knock out or completely remove from the atom knock out completely from the atom that means the amount of energy required to the electron so that it can jump from the ground state to the infinity orbit that n equals to infinity. When electron jump from ground state to the infinity orbit at that condition. Okay. What is the amount of energy it required? Okay students. 
So here what happened that electron is completely removed from that atom, completely detached from that atom. So when electron is completely detached or completely removed at that condition that atom is ionized. Atom is ionized. Atom is ionized. Here electron make transition from ground state from ground state to infinity level. Okay. Where n equals to 1 to n equals to infinity. Okay. So what is the amount of energy required that electron to jump from ground state to n equals to infinity. Take us E1 equals to, we know that E1 equals to minus 13.6 electron volt and E infinity that is 0 electron volt. Yes. So what is the amount of energy required to that electron to jump from ground state to infinity that E equals to E infinity minus E1. E infinity that is 0 minus minus 13.6 electron volt. Then what is the answer? That is 13.6 electron volt. That means 13.6 electron volt. This is the amount of energy required by an electron required by an electron okay to jump from ground state to the infinity state or ground state to the infinity level. That amount of energy is called as ionization energy. Now here we discuss excitation potential and ionization potential. Let's start excitation potential. It is that accelerating potential which gives to a free electron so that it bombarded with the orbital electron and that sufficient energy excites the target electron that raising from innermost orbit to outer orbit. That means what happened here if we provide or apply potential difference to a free electron. Here this one is the free electron take us. This one is the free electron. If here we apply potential difference to the free electron, that free electron get accelerated. The free electron get accelerated and bombarded with the orbital electron. Bombarded with the orbital electron. As we provide potential difference to the free electron, that free electron accelerated, its kinetic energy is also increases. Its kinetic energy is also increases. Due to that sufficient energy, due to that sufficient energy, the atom get excited. As the free electron bombarded with the orbital electron and due to that sufficient energy, atom get excited. So, that electron is excited and jump from innermost orbit to outermost orbit. Jump from innermost orbit to outermost orbit. That energy is called as excitation energy. That energy is called as excitation energy. Here electron jump from innermost orbit to the first excited state. Take us in the innermost orbit that energy E1. And in the first excited state, take us that energy E2. So, what is the energy required by the electron to jump from innermost orbit or ground state to the first excited state? That E equals to E2 minus E1. Achha. Here E2 that is minus 3.4 electron volt minus of minus 13.6 electron volt. Then what is the value? That is... 10.2 electron volt. That energy is called as excitation energy. That energy is called as excitation energy. But here we discuss about excitation potential. Here we discuss about excitation potential. That means what is the potential we provide to the free electron so that free electron get accelerated and its kinetic energy increases. So, it helps that orbital electron to jump from innermost orbit to the 
outer orbiter or that energy of the free electron is equal to the excitation energy here first we calculate the potential which we provide to the free electron take as the potential equals to work done divided by charge according to work energy theorem we know that the amount of work done is equal to the change in energy here work done is equal to that energy so put the formula here the potential equals to energy divided by charge here that energy that is excitation energy okay so potential v equals to energy that is 10.2 electron volt divided by charge of the electron then this one equals to 10.2 volt as we provide 10.2 Two volt potential difference to a free electron. That free electron get accelerated and its kinetic energy increases. That kinetic energy is equal to the excitation energy. So that excitation due to this excitation energy, that kinetic energy is equal to that excitation energy. Due to this excitation energy, that electron can jump from innermost orbit to the outermost orbit that potential difference which we provide that potential difference is called as excitation potential which we provide to the free electron this is all about excitation potential now we discuss ionization potential in case of ionization potential what happen that same case happen here also it is that accelerating potential which gives to a free electron so that it bombarded with the orbital electron and that sufficient energy helps the atom to completely ionize. So, an electron completely removed from that atom. That potential is called as ionization potential. What happened here students? Simply, what ko samjho? First one. We know that if an electron is in ground state, okay, as that electron jumps from ground state to that infinity, what is the energy it requires? That energy is called as ionization energy. That energy is called as ionization energy. Here what happened? That electron jump from ground state to that infinity level. So that E equals to E infinity minus E1. E infinity that is 0 electron volt minus of minus 13.6 electron volt. So that ionization energy that is 13.6 electron volt that is the ionization energy. But here we discuss about ionization potential e equals to what is the ionization energy that is 13.6 electron volt divided by charge of electron then 13.6 volt. 13.6 volt potential e we provide to the free electron that free electron accelerated and its kinetic energy increases the sufficient energy helps the electron which is in the ground state helps the electron to excite it and jump from ground state to infinity that means if here we provide 13.6 potential difference 13.6 potential difference if we apply to the free electron its kinetic energy increases and that kinetic energy is equal to the ionization energy and what is the potential we provide to the free electron that potential is called as ionization potential that's all about ionization potential now here we discuss some problem first question a photon of energy 12.09 electron volt is absorbed by an electron in the ground state of hydrogen atom that electron is in the the electron is in the ground state of hydrogen atom in case of hydrogen atom z equals to 1 and that E1 equals to 
minus 13.6 electron volt. Now, a photon of energy 12.09 electron volt is absorbed by the electron. What is the amount of energy it absorbs? That is 12.09 electron volt. That amount of energy absorbed by the electron of, hy of hydrogen atom. What will be the energy level of electron? As that electron absorbs 12.09 amount of energy that electron get excited and jump from innermost orbit to any outermost orbit then what is the energy level of this electron in question it is given that the energy of electron in the ground state that is minus 13.6 electron volt that is we know that that energy in the first orbit or in the ground state E1 equals to minus 13.6 electron volt. Then we know that what is the amount of energy it absorbs? E equals to En minus E1. That's why here we don't know at which state that electron jump. In which state that electron jump? We calculate the energy level. Okay. Then what is En? That En equals to E plus E1. Okay. Then what is E? That E is the amount of energy which is absorbed by the electron. E is the amount of energy which is absorbed by the electron. So E that is 12.09 electron volt and then E1 that is minus 13.6 electron volt. Then what is that answer? That is minus 1.51 electron volt. Minus 1.51 electron volt. That means this one equals to E n. Okay. As we know that E n, E n that is equals to minus 13.6 electron volt divided by n square. Yes. Minus 13.6 electron volt that is equals to E 1. So put here E n equals to E 1 by n square. Then what is n square? n square equals to E1 by En. Okay. Then E1 put the value. E1. E1 equals to put the value of E1. That is minus 13.6 electron volt divided by En. That is minus 1.51 electron volt. So solve this one. Solve this one. That N square equals to 9 and N equals to 3. That electron jump from n equals to 1 to n equals to 3 or we say that electron is jump from ground state to the second excited state okay in the similar way you do this problem and what is the answer of this problem write down in the comment box okay students thank you